Hi, I'm John with Green Street Lessons, and today I'll be teaching you how to play Monkey Wrench by the Foo Fighters off their 1997 album, The Color and the Shape. So this is the main riff. This is what the lead guitar plays right off the bat, and it sounds like this. Um, now th this is a difficult riff to get entirely correct because there's, it's deceptively simplistic. Um, now how I do it, I just use my index finger to play all the fretted notes and I just slide it back and forth. Um, uh, a few things you gotta be careful with, the, uh, the high strings, the E and the B string, they need to ring out when you play it or else it won't sound quite right. So you got to be very careful to make sure all these strings sound out. So keep your index finger off of those. And um, at the last part with that bend, uh, you, you have to be very, very sure that all of that sounds out so you'll be able to get it. And you have to bend it in time too. So it's Um, it's a difficult riff. I would recommend um, you know learning it slow and then just slowly increase the tempo to make sure you have all these components correct so it'll sound right. On to the verse. Um, now I didn't mention it before because it didn't affect the main riff, but this song is in drop D which means that your sixth, your low E string, will be tuned from E down to D. Now, this is done for a few reasons, but primarily, um, instead of that shape for a power chord, I'm already in D, as you can hear, um, instead of that shape, you can just bar across the low three strings and get a power chord, so it makes it easier for faster songs like this. Anyway, the verse sounds like this. So, the entire verse, almost the entire verse, is palm muted, uh, except for the last part, the... That part is allowed to ring. Everything else is palm muted, and um, there's a little gap, as you heard, or if you've heard the song, in between each measure of the verse. So, it... so just be aware of that. And, um, yeah, as for the chord shapes, uh, real easy chord shapes. Uh, the first chord, you're going to take your index finger and put it on the A string, second fret. You're going to take your ring finger and put it on the D string, fourth fret. And you're going to take your pinky finger and put it on the G string, fourth fret, for this chord. And palm muted, you'll play it 12 times. The next chord... Real easy. You're going to bar your first finger across the fourth fret of the E, A, and D string for this chord. You're going to play that eight times. And then you're just going to drop that same shape down to the second fret. So index finger barred across the second fret of the E, A, and D string for this chord, which you'll play three times. And then you will just take your finger off the string completely and play the E, A, and D string open for this chord. And you'll kind of drop in your first finger so and alternate between the two. So it's so that is the verse for the song.
Uh, now we'll move on to the chorus. And now on to the chorus of Monkey Ranch. Um, this is overall pretty easy to play. Um, there's just one little sticking point that at least tripped me up for a while. Uh, it goes like this. And that's all there is to it. Um, it's all power chords. Um, the first chord, just use your index finger, bar across the E, A, and D strings, the ninth fret. And then you'll slide that same shape down to the sixth fret. And then to the fourth fret. And you'll alternate back between the fourth and the second fret with that same shape, like this. And um, then at the very end of the chorus figure, there's a really quick jump from this chord down to this C power chord on the A string, which is index finger, A string, third fret, ring finger, D string, fifth fret, pinky finger, G string, fifth fret. So it's... Um, yeah, that's all there is to it. Um, of course, the real sticking point with that is the speed. So again, practice that slowly and just make sure all the strings, all the notes are sounding clearly. And as you get it, just you know, slowly increase the tempo until you're playing at the recorded speed. Um, yeah, so I'll be showing you the bridge next. So, this is the breakdown for Monkey Wrench by the Foo Fighters. It's another pretty easy part. Um, there's no real sticking points. It's all power chords. Um, just pay attention to some of the syncopation at the beginning of it. And this is what it sounds like. That's all of it. Um, a lot of the chords we've already seen in the song. Um, you start off with a quick chord stab um, with your index finger barred across the E, A, and D strings at the sixth fret for that chord. You drop down quickly to a E power chord, index finger, A string, seventh fret. Ring finger, D string, ninth fret. Pinky finger, G string, ninth fret. And you jump a little bit forward. Bar your index finger across the E, A, and D string at the ninth fret. And you drop down to the fifth fret here. Same shape as before. Drop that down to the fourth. To the second back to the fourth and then uh, just to explain my notation in the tab that came before this you'll play through the uh, figure up to the solid line you'll play that three times and then on the fourth time you'll play it up to the dotted line where after that you'll play the part immediately after the first solid line, you'll play that twice. And then the part after the second solid line, you'll play that three times. And then the part after the third solid line, you'll play that one time. And now the bridge of Monkey Wrench. This is a little out of order, I apologize. But the bridge is very simple. It's two chords and it goes like this. <laughs> 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 
So that just alternates between uh, your index finger barred on the E, A, and D fret at the E, A, and D string at the second fret and the E, A, and D string open. Um, yeah, that's really all there is to it. Very simple. Just uh, consult the tab. So, a few things I should mention so that this uh, lesson is a little more complete. You have the bulk of it, but there's a few embellishments on that. First, the song begins with the you barring your index finger over whatever fret down here and just <coughs> sliding down. Um, secondly, this is a two-guitar song in a few parts, like the intro and the outro, really. Uh, aside from that, you can do it with one guitar. Um, in the intro, the rhythm guitar is playing the chorus part, and the lead guitar is playing the main riff, and this is the same in the outro. Um, now, as for the outro, it's a little different there, so this is what's going on. Instead of playing the entirety of the main riff, the lead guitar, you're just going to play this part. You'll just play that, and then it goes into this. <laughs> Not that. So, what that is, is um, you're just kind of, as we've seen in the, um, as we saw in the breakdown and the chorus, it's just kind of alternating back from barring your index finger across the E, A, and D string at the 4th fret and that same shape at the 2nd fret, so it's... and then the last two chords of it are a power chord at C, so that's your index finger on the A string at the 3rd fret ring finger on the D string at the 5th fret and pinky finger on the G string at the 5th fret and then you just slide that same shape down one fret and that's the end of the song and that is how you play monkey wrench by the foo fighters <laughs>